Let's discuss further into the IDX uh, performance and take a deeper look at which direction it could potentially take with Gamal Goryadi, Astronachi founder and CEO. Good afternoon, Mr. Gamal. Thank you for joining us live. Thank you. Thank you. My honor. Yes. Uh, we have prepared some charts that you specifically uh, have analyzed. Let's talk about the JCI performance. So where do you see the direction of the JCI in the coming week? At the first place, um, in my research being based on the Astronachi method, we believe that for the past 15 years, that's always repeat the cycle that three weeks after the 4th July, the U.S. Uh, 4th July, the JCI will have the bullish impact. And it's happening again in 2024. If, as you can see, after the 4th July, three weeks later, then um, the market rose significantly. And then after a um, few days back, it trapped in a sideways movement. And we believe the peak formation has been formed and what we're looking now is when will be the next bottoming. And we're looking at the 29th of July, that's the earliest, which is Monday, um, or the August 1st, 2024, will be the end of the consolidation. And at this moment, as long as the price um, still um, fluctuated between um, 7,150 and 7,200 with the red candle, uh, we believe that the new harmonic support will be about like uh, 7,130 to 7,160. That's for the short term. It means we're looking for a further a deeper correction, but at the long run, we believe the 7,700 will be the next target. So we're still bullish, but we're moving into sideways movement. The next bottom point will be around uh, 27 July, which is on Monday. The earliest will be on Friday, so we just need to wait. So it's currently in sideways and we expect a technical correction, but still the bullish Correct. scenario intact for the Jakarta Composite Index. And let's exactly. now discuss another, the finance sector performance. We have a four charts prepared by you, BBCA, BBRI, BMRI, and also BBNI, four big banks in Indonesia. What are your takes on this four big caps? Talks. Yeah, my, my best shot will be still in the BRI. We're looking at 6,500 target. So you can start to um, reaccumulation for BBRI at 4,500, which is that the best spot to buy, uh, which is you need to wait. The 25th of July will be the first time support for BRI. It means when you see the price drop significantly tomorrow, then that's probably going to be your best time to start um, buying. Um, and we're looking at 4,500 again to 4,550 for the accumulation price. On the other hand, we're looking at BCA and we pretty much positive with this stock. The major trend is still moving in a bullish trend. And uh, Mandiri will be the third for uh, all the traders or investors that uh, like the higher volatility. You can aim for Mandiri. Um, for the BNI, still moving in a bullish trend again. So four bank, big banks in Indonesia will be the best option for the second half of 2024. But your favorite is BBRI. Exactly, BRI, because I got a higher probability for BRI to hit 6,400 to 6,500 by the end of the year, or at least the first quarter of 2024, which is, that's going to give us about like 35% from now. Okay, 35% upside potential. Disclaimer on, do your own research. So buy the dip according to uh, Mr. Gemma for BBRI with a target price of 600, uh, 6,400, 6,500 at the end of this year or at least in the first quarter of 2024. And let's check. Now, you mentioned in our interview earlier about the impact of mm -hmm. the 4th of July. Let's talk about the history. Yeah, uh, this is very interesting. Um, I found this cycle in 2011 that based on my observation, the JCI most likely moved in the bullish trend within three weeks after the 4th July. So regardless what's the condition of the economy, the macro or even the bearish trend, 
there will be a pause even the market will um, while the market moving in a bearish trend there will be a pause like three weeks after the 4th july when the market moving in the sideways movement within that period of three weeks after the 4th july the jci will have appreciation that's why we can use this method to keep doing um, transaction and trading and buying weakness every year after the 4th July. So the data will never lie and then that's happened and keep happening. Um, I'm not sure until when, but since 2011, I have this um, observation and it's pretty good. I, I really like this and then it's always work in JCI. So for now, um, the, the JCI will moving in the sideways movement and make a little correction because that's the after three weeks, um, after the 4th July is already done, then we're looking for the next cycle. But at least if you hold at the long-term perspective, we still believe that the market is still moving in a bullish trend at least until the U.S. President, uh, uh, president election 2024. Until November. So we can Correct. take opportunity during the sideways uh, tent to yes. be a bit of correction to re-accumulate and accumulate the stock that we think have like more upside potential in the future if we have like long-term yeah. uh, horizon. Horizon, yeah. You, you need to find a, the best business model within this macroeconomic condition uh, with the U.S. election, with the inflation, with the interest rate of the Fed. So I believe the commodity and the bank, the big banks, of course, will be the best bet for us to, to keep accumulating and make money from the stocks market, especially when the rupiah is moving in about like six, uh, 16,000 to 16,800. So we're looking at the coal. I fully agree with the previous analysts that saying that that sector is pretty good. Yeah, so PDBA, Adaro or ITMG, that's the best uh, coal stocks in Indonesia. Plus the other finance sector, especially in the bank. That will be the great menu to make money within the second half of 2024. Okay, finance and commodity or energy sector. We have the chart that you prepared here. Uh, the comparison between other sectors to IDX energy. Yeah, that's, that's based on 2021 to 2023. We can see that pretty strong. The IDX energy is always uh, outperformed the market regardless what the market condition. So uh, with this uh, rupiah condition, we're still looking at any opportunity to buy on weakness on any coal stocks because energy is pretty wide. Um, and I always put a limit within the wide sector. I don't really like to invest in the wide index sector because energy will include oil as well. So um, I'm gonna focus on the coal stocks for Indonesia in the second half of 2024. So we have PTBA chart here that you have prepared for us. Uh, the data from the production of PTBA and also the sales data. Uh, we can see like a positive performance. Yeah, there's increment, there's a recovery, okay. And then if we're looking for the chart, we, we're gonna synchronize both between the, uh, the, the, the business model the fundamental and the macroeconomy about the, um, the coal sectors and then we're going to compare that with the daily outlook of PDBA. When PDBA dropped around May to June, it dropped significantly with the hole, is, we call that the gap, it's a very, very deep gap over there and we uh, look that the PDBA, we're going to back to 2,900 because the gap must be closed in this stock. So it's a matter of time, that's why uh, the consolidation is over. Um, people start buying um, the coal stocks, especially PDBA, and then you're looking for buy and weakness support for the rest of uh, 2024. So uh, the entry level of PTBA that you would suggest for us with mid-term and long-term yeah, term horizon? About uh, 2600 Okay, if you can get a price about 2550 to 2600 or 2650 that would be great. And you can hold it and hold until at least 2,900 if the PDBA is not making any all-time high, at least you will get at uh, 400 rupiah appreciation. So it's about like, um, I guess, 15 to 20%. That's fair enough to say that we can we can potentially earn from PDBA. Not bad at all. And while we wait, we can exactly. expect the dividend as PDBA is a good dividend stock. Yep. Okay, commodity and finance from you and we have also the WBRI Daily Outlook. Let's discuss and delve uh, further into this. We have 
seen the chart uh, previously, but now this is like the more detailed one with yeah. the harmonic support. So I'm looking at, correct, I'm looking at the 25th July for the first target of the time support. It means that the correction that have, uh, it's happening today will still continue until tomorrow. But it's, it's okay because we're looking at 4,500 for us to enter and then, and then set the target price at 6,500. Uh, the 23rd of July has confirmed as the uh, resistance, the time resistance, that's why the price is um, turning down now and 4,500 will be the best um, a course of action to buy okay and then as long as the price is not falls down below 4090 just keep it buying and then based on your risk management of course and then you have to manage your um, f how many percents that you're gonna put in BRI and then after maybe five to six months you're looking at 6500 for the tax profit okay five to six months last support 4090 but currently we can also uh, Enter BBRI at around 4,500 something. Okay, very nice. Yes. And now let's discuss the other one. Okay, that would be all. The BBRI. Okay. So, commodity, finance, and let's take this time when the Jakarta Composite Index in a sideways. We wait until the cycle of the 4th of July over to wait and see whether uh, the JCI go in the direction of the bullish scenario as you mentioned before. Any suggestion, any advice for investors of the yes. Indonesia stock exchange? First, the trend is still bullish, okay, at least until the US election. We're inside a big game plan of the US pres uh, presidential election. And within July to September, if you're looking at the dip of the JCI, let's say there's a major correction, do not panic. Look for the big four banks and look for the cold stocks. And then if you can buy on weakness on them, you will gain about like 30 to 40% by the end of 2024. So August, September, October, probably you will see the deeper correction and looking for the bank. I choose BRI. And feel free to choose another bank that listed in the discussion today. But the point is, you're gonna hold it until Thanksgiving because the Thanksgiving will be aligned with the U.S. election result, and I believe the result will will, will be positive for Indonesia. And then you're gonna hold it until the first quarter 2025. You're gonna make very very uh, attractive profits. Wow, thank you very much. So we have to be ready for the seasonal correction of sep in September, October, November. And after the election, we can expect a better movement of the Jakarta Composite Index. Just uh, exactly. pick your favorite stock from these two sectors suggested by Mr. Gama in the finance sector on in the commodity sector. Thank you very much for your time, uh, Mr. You Gama so Guyardi from Astro Nachi. And now let's take a break. We will be back to discuss the vast potential of venture capital industry in Indonesia with the head of investment at BNI Ventures, Gita Syahril. We'll be right back.